What is the fastest way to level up in Pokemon Emerald? There are a lot of videos out there claiming different leveling spots to be the best. And it seems most of the videos lack some evidence to why it really is the best spot. So I decided it was time to get a real answer to this once and for all. So back in the days when people played with Game Boys, you could link with a friend and get access to their secret base where you could fight their team. That has the absolute best potential for XP if they bring a team of level 100 Blissies where you could get thousands of XP points per Blissie. But I'm guessing 99% of you watching don't have that option, so I'm going to look away from that in this video. So I'm going to show you the best way to level up in Pokemon Emerald if you don't have friends. So I nominated a few training spots that are commonly shown as the best and tested them all by timing the XP per minute from continuously training in the same spot. The first spot I tested was the daycare. Leave your Pokemon there, get on your mock bike, and go back and forth. My testing Pokemon for this was my newly hatched Swablu level 5. Note that it hatched with 237 XP, so we're going to subtract that from the total XP afterwards. So I tried my best to bike around for 2 minutes, stopped the timer, and took out my Swablu. It ended up having 1929 XP, take away those 237, and we have 1692 XP points over 2 minutes, giving us 846 XP points per minute. Now this is not exact, as it's very hard to calculate precisely, but it shouldn't be too far off. Note that if you put two Pokemon at the same time, you would be getting 1692 XP per minute. Next we have the interviewers Gabby and Ty, that you can fight over and over again. After battling them a few times, their Exploit and Magneton will be level 39, and to maximize the XP here, you need to let your Pokemon earn all the XP alone. So to do that, you can use a Pokemon with Explosion that takes out everything, including itself. So I switched from my Swablu into a random weak Pokemon, giving Swablu all the XP after the Explosion. This is giving us 2882 XP per battle, but the downside is they move after every battle, so you lose a lot of time going after them, and you would also need to heal your Pokemon in between. So to simulate that, I battled them three times to complete one cycle, as it takes different amounts of time for each location. I ended up with 8883 XP, so we take away those 237, and we end up with 8646 XP. And it took me 6 minutes and 20 seconds, giving us 1365 XP per minute. The next spot I tried was the Victory Road. Using a Pokemon with Illuminate first in your party, you get a 100% increased chance of encountering a Pokemon. In this test, I used a fainted Volbeat, so my Metagross could take care of the battles. There are three different floors with different encounter pools in the Victory Road, where I calculated the average XP per battle in all the floors. The first floor has the least amount of XP per battle, but since you need to heal every now and then, it more or less makes up for the time it takes to get to the other floors. This was around 767 XP per battle. So I trained for 5 minutes and got 5366 minus 237, which is 5129 XP, divided with 5 minutes equals 1025 XP per minute. This would be 2050 if you don't share the XP. Now the final area, and maybe the most obvious one, is the Pokemon League. To get the maximum amount of XP per minute here, you would have to bring only one Pokemon, defeat all Pokemon in one hit, but then make sure to lose on purpose before defeating the champion to avoid the long talking scene at the end. That way you get right back to the grind. And you actually shave off about one minute doing this. But you will lose your money, so if you care about it, you can deposit it in your PC at your house in Little Root Town. Now when training your Pokemon, you might not be able to do this, but there are alternative variations I will cover soon. In my testing, I used my Swampert, starting with 580,000 XP, and got to the champion and lost to his Ludicolo. I had then used just around 10 minutes when I was ready to enter the league again. Swampert ended up with 619,488 XP. So I got 39,460 XP in 10 minutes, giving me 3,946 XP per minute. If your Pokemon isn't strong enough to do this, you can give it the XP share and let a strong Pokemon do the fighting. I tested this with a Metagross level 100 with Explosion. I defeated almost all the Pokemon in one hit, and when the champion was at his second last Pokemon, I used Explosion, giving my Swablu all the XP for that Pokemon, 
and then went ahead and lost the battle to start over. I used 11 minutes and 33 seconds here. It took a bit longer because Swablu leveled up and learned moves quite often, which is what you would expect when your Pokemon is at a lower level. Swablu ended up with 24,481 XP, minus 237, and we're at 24,244, which gives us 2,108 XP per minute. So let's compare these training spots. So at best, the daycare gives you around 846 XP per minute for one, or 1692 for two Pokemon at the same time. The interviewers give you around 1365 XP per minute using the explosion tactic. The victory road gives you 1025 XP per minute for XP sharing and 2050 without. The Pokemon League gives you around 3946 XP per minute without XP sharing and I got around 2108 XP per minute with XP sharing. So the clear winner here is the Pokemon League, but it might not be the best place for you, as it will depend on the level and strength of your Pokemon. If you need two hits to defeat the Pokemon in the League, you're getting a lot less XP per minute. You just need to choose whatever you feel would work the best for you. And if you care about shiny hunting, you can train and hunt at the same time. Fun fact, I got my first shiny Pokemon on the Victory Road. It was a shiny Hariyama, and boy, I'm glad I didn't know it had Whirlwind. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to dynamic punch the like button, XP share the video, and trade it to your friends to make it level up faster. See you in the next one!